Hi, my name is James Bowman with Rector Seal Corporation. As a former installer and technician, I know the value of good tools and good products. Tools like good installation tools like you can find with this Robin Air Kit. A lot of the other quality products that you need to make a good quality installation on mini splits. But what about after it's been installed, after it's been running? What about maintenance? What do you do when it gets dirty? You know, you've got plastics that are sensitive, the blower wheel gets dirty. You've got the thin aluminum fins and copper tubes. Things are very sensitive. You've got to have a good, safe chemical. You also, this thing's hanging on your customer's wall. You don't want to create a mess. So we've brought out the Dissolve Cleaning Kit, a very practical, safe, simple solution to your cleaning needs on evaporators. When you're finished, or even when you first install it. Maintenance with drain tabs are also very important. So I'll tell you what, let's go out to the field and clean a system using our Dissolve Cleaning Kit. I'm here with uh, my friend Terry from Wall to Wall Air Conditioning to talk about cleaning. We all know, I mean as a former technician myself, cleaning coils is not something we really want to do or enjoy doing. Now what if that coil it's hanging in your customer's office or living room or even their bedroom. That makes it even worse. So, Rector Seal has developed what we're calling our Dissolve Coil Cleaning Kit or Dissolve Mini Split Cleaning Kit. To start off with, okay, so in our cleaning kit we have the instructions. Instructions are always important. Next, we have the frame itself. Terry, give me a hand. We'll go ahead and hook it up. Silver, the silver bracket goes on the top. So we take the red ropes, we slip them over the edge of the side. Then we take the white and blue rope to hold our frame up. Next, let's pull our, ba our bag out of the out of the kit. Our funnel bag comes with an eight foot tailpiece. So if we're up ten feet on the wall on the ladder, we've got enough room to drain the water down into our bucket. On the funnel bag are some holes. You just simply slip the funnel bag inside and over the edge of the frame. Hook the holes through the hooks on the frame and you've got it. So the next thing we want to do is go ahead and drop the edge of our frame down so that we can see inside the bag. We also have a couple of pieces in the bag. The purpose is to be able to protect our wall. We're going to stick it inside, roll the bag up just a tad and slip this up underneath the back of the unit to protect that wall from any water splashing down and running down the wall. Now we lift our bag back up. Just give us enough to, uh, to where we can access everything. Inside our kit also comes the gallon of dissolve. What you'll want to do is take your, your funnel, the, the tailpiece on your funnel, decide how long you need it, then cut it off, dissolve. Dissolve coil cleaner, it's a very safe cleaner, because one of the things that we're going to get into cleaning is the blower wheel. Blower wheel is plastic. We know that the fins and the copper tubes on our aluminum are very thin or very delicate. We don't want a harsh chemical. We also don't want a chemical that in such a small room is going to overpower us with the odor. Even if it's citrusy, even if it's lemony smelling or, or orange smelling, it's going to overpower you pretty quick. So we got an odorless chemical that's very safe for the plastics and the thin uh, aluminum fins on the coil. Good quality product. It's called Dissolve. So he's put the Dissolve into his pump-up sprayer. Now he's spraying the coal. And no water is going onto our walls. 
course, by cleaning the coil, most of the water should be going into the drain pan. So as a side note, if you have a pump hooked up to your mini split, make sure you disconnect the pump before you clean. We don't want any of the debris to get into your piston style pump and damage the pump. Once we get done cleaning the coil, we want to move on to our blower wheel, which is always a problem. And that's typically where our biggest headaches are at because we have no drain pan underneath our blower. Now in this case, the water's being collected. No water splashing on the walls. So as he finishes up the blower wheel, we're about finished. Let's go ahead and take the bag down. You, and it's, it's very simply, you take and loosen it off of the frame. Then we can simply keep all of the mess and throw it into our bag and carry it outside. Now let's go ahead and take our frame off. Let's start with the bottom. We'll loosen the black up first. Then we'll loosen the red hose up or the red rope. Then remove our silver bracket off of the top. Simply roll it up. And once you've cleaned out your bucket, put it back in the bucket for the next time. So when we get finished, one more thing. Actab DMSS. Drain tablets designed specifically for mini splits. We want to go ahead and throw a couple of drain tablets in now to help keep our drain pan clean long term. Thanks for watching. Appreciate your help, Terry. If you have any questions about any of our quality mini split accessories, like the dissolved cleaning kit, visit us at RectorSeal.com. Have a great day.